love the most delicious cake. Wow! Cool! I'll make the coolest one. Nice. Anything. Easy. I'm a professional. Yes! What all kind right, of cake without right, delicious right. cream? Carefully put another cake, another layer of cream, and another cake, and another, and another. Hmm. Let's see. I'll do something interesting. Great. A heart cake with for my beloved Margot. I'll decorate it a little. Let's take a Kit Kat and some cream. Hmm. It turned out well. Perfect. And I'll add some chocolates on top. Margot will like it. Now I'll show you how a cake should look like. Cut it in half. Put one half on the other. Cut out the middle. And then turn it over. Now I'm going to use the colored cream. It will make the cake look even more like a rainbow. I will align the cream a little and make beautiful fluffy yes! clouds next. Perfect. I'll add cute eyes and a mouth. This is how a real masterpiece looks like. You have no chance. <laughs> it is not necessary that the cake is beautiful. The main thing is that it's delicious. Ah, perfect. What? This mountain doesn't even look like a cake. I'm not done yet. Now my cake will also become bright. Milk colored chocolate. Aha. Let's then add some sparkles. And some more, cause girls love sparkles. Wow, that's so cool. Perfect. My cake will definitely win. Wow, it's not a bad idea, but my cake is still better. Wow, what a beautiful bright cake. Perhaps I'll start with it. Awesome. How delicious! I'll try grandma's cake next. Mm. Mm, my favorite sweets and chocolate. Perfect. Yes! Um, what kind of weird cake is this? We'll try it. Uh, it doesn't taste good. No. So the cake from the chef has won. I told you I'd win. What? And it fix your cap. Let's see who makes the best chocolate with marshmallows. Woo! Perfect. Okay. Easy as hi. I'll do it. Well, why are we sitting? We need to start cooking. My secret to delicious hot chocolate is that I add Margot's favorite chocolate to it. I'll mix it well. Yes! Add some Hershey's. Mm, incredible. Let's mix it again and... I'm going to pour it into the mug that Margot gave me. Look what a beauty with my portrait. Oh my! Big deal. A mug. You don't understand. Now I'll try how I did it. Mm, delicious. Um, okay, as you wish. Okay. Real hot chocolate should be drunk from such glasses, not from mugs. I'll pour hot chocolate now. Okay, you need to whisk the cream and make a beautiful fluffy hat and decorate it with marshmallows. This is how hot chocolate should look like. <laughs> don't touch it with your hands. Um, what should I do? A can of cream. I'll need it. How delicious. We need to make a bigger hat and more marshmallows. Ah, perfect. And also add some candy. Maybe some Oreos. All right, all right, and chocolate all right. sauce. Ah, some cookie sticks. No one has done this for sure. Well. I'll try hot chocolate first from this participant. How many marshmallows? It's so good! It's impossible to stop! Oh, I gave this mug to grandma. Although her hot chocolate is so so. I need a straw for this glass. Mmm, delicious! We need to think a little. And Andy wins! Hooray! I'm a real master! Oh, I'm juggling. This time, I want some yes! chips. Wow! How to cook them? I only know how to eat them. Oh, time without your professional Let's tricks. Dare. I'll keep an eye on you. What? Duh. Um, what should I do? Okay. It's simple. Look, we take the potatoes, we peel them like this, then cut them like this. 
Turn on the stove, pour oil, and put the potatoes in. Well, that's pretty much it. Hmm. Uh, I see. Well, hold on, potato. Ha! Now, let's add more oil. There's no time to wait. I'll turn on the stove immediately to the maximum. The lid will be useful for protection. Throwing potatoes, take care. Oops. Um, it seems like it was a bad idea. Be careful, Andy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I think it turned out perfectly. Mm. Oh my. Ordinary chips. <laughs> my chips will be really excellent. Let's take the tortillas. Cut them carefully. Now I'm going to take some oil. You still won't be able to repeat after you're a professional. Hit the oil and fry the sliced tortillas until golden brown. And now, what kind of nachos without cheese? I'm gonna put some nachos on the plate and then melt the cheese. This already looks so good. We'll pour the sauce over our nachos. Decorate with lime slices and you're done. This is an excellent dish. I won't be so happy that early. Hey! Oh, I completely forgot about them! Ugh, they should be put on a plate. Hope Margo likes that. I don't think so. What should I do? Um, let's mm. add some cheese powder. It'll fix everything. Nice. Mmm. Yeah, doesn't seem to help. Okay, let's hope Marco likes it. Oh my! My chips are ready. A little salt, <laughs> and it will turn out super good. Great. Well, and what kind of embers are these? Okay, I'll try a piece. Oh, what a horror! It's impossible to eat. And these look delicious. Mm, how yummy! Wait, are these chips all right, for sure? All right, all right. I'll take a bite. No, no, it's strange. So, Grandma's chips win! Yes. I told you! You've heard it! What? Oh, ketchup will come in handy. I want some spaghetti. Okay, no problem. Uh -huh. For sure, okay. dear. If only I knew how to cook it. Well, uh. what do I do with that? Okay, put them in a saucepan. Wait, why don't they fit? How do you cook them? Oh, come on, get in! <sighs> uh, wait. <laughs> Stupid spaghetti, I'll show you now. Uh, come on, get in! What are you doing? First, you need to turn on the stove. See? And then put the spaghetti in the water. All right, all right, all right. See? That's easy. Holy They're holy. melting in. Okay. What's the matter? Yeah, oh. you definitely don't have a chance. Hmm. Real pasta is prepared differently. We take the flour. Yes. Pour it out with a slide. Make a recess in the center. Then take the eggs. We carefully break and knead the dough. A little black dye and you'll already get an unusual pasta. It is necessary to cover the dough for a while. I'll make time for it. Let's see. Okay. What? Oh, this what? is a mess. You guys, you all can right, take out the right, dough now perfectly. Right. <laughs> now we're gonna roll it out. Just like so. And now cut it. It turns out like real Italian pasta. Now we're going to boil it. Carefully put it on a plate. Perhaps the octopus is perfect for this pasta. Let's fry it. Put it on top of the pasta and you're done. Awesome! What are you doing? Why so much ketchup? There's no such thing as too much ketchup. Oh. Wait, what's that? Andy, what are you doing? The spaghetti don't want to come out! Huh? Oh, okay, never mind. I'll get you now. Ugh. Doesn't seem to help me anymore. Oh no! Uh, my opinion, spaghetti should not look like this. Why are they so difficult to cook? Wait, what if I replace them with ready-made noodles? I 
can definitely handle it here. Everything. Okay, we're pouring it out. Cover it. And wait a little. Ready me noodles. Aw, oh, what a horror. These noodles are ready. Cool. Octopus, really? That looks disgusting. Uh, how to eat it? Mm, it's rubbery. What? I can't even take a bite of it. Disgusting. <laughs> Spaghetti with ketchup looks delicious. Let's try it. Mm, it's so good. Hmm. Wait, noodles in a box? Interesting. Mm, it seems not bad, but… Very spicy! My mouth is burning! Funny! I look like a dragon! <laughs> so, Andy wins! Yes. <gasps> Did I win? Yeah! Hmm. Let's start with a simple one. Cook me some french fries! Easy. It will be done. I just want to learn how to cook. While everyone is spilling potatoes, I'd better hit the butter. By the way, there is never much of it. Well, the butter is almost boiling, which means that it's time to pour out the ready-made slices of french fries. No! Stop! Ugh, it's splashing! God, help! What are you doing? Because of you, we were almost bombarded by boiling oil. The oil should be poured carefully. Then fry the potatoes evenly. Cut them. Nothing difficult. Okay. The french fries are ready. There's only a little sauce left to add. <sighs> fries? In my opinion, this is an ordinary fried potato. And I'll make real french fries. But that's not all. Now I'm going to make a real delicacy out of ordinary potatoes. I'll need bacon, some sauce, and of course, sweet rosemary. Mm, smells so good. Uh -oh. oh, I haven't lost everything yet. Why not use marmalade potato? They say if you dip it in strawberry syrup, it'll be even better. Okay. Well, I'll start trying with potatoes in the middle. Mmm, Grandma, this is very nice. Oh, ew! I can't stand rosemary. I'm sorry, Madame Chef, but I didn't like it. But I appreciate the idea of marmalade potatoes. Brother, you're doing great. Now I don't know who to choose. Let it be, grandmother. Hooray! This time, this task is more difficult. You need to cook sushi. Come on! It'll be done. According to the best recipe. What? Sushi? Sushi? Yeah, I have no idea what sushi is in the countryside. What is that? I'm going to make sushi that you never dreamed of. What? Ordinary sushi is boring. Another thing is sushi made out of different candies. Instead of cream cheese, there will be delicious whipped cream inside. And of course, gummies. Perfect. We must not forget about the chocolate syrup. <laughs> An interesting idea. I will also have sushi ready very soon. The main thing is to repeat very carefully after the chef. Nothing complicated yet. Nothing complicated. So let's see what disgusting sushi you have. <sighs> I can add sauce too. You don't have to be super smart for that. What is that? Avocado? The most important thing is to twist everything perfectly, which you, Grandma, certainly won't succeed at. ta -dum. The perfect sushi is almost ready. What a horror! I didn't think your sushi was so ugly! Wow. It's time to wrap sushi in salmon. The main thing is to add a lot of fish cut into chunky pieces. And we must not forget about soy sauce. Hmm. 
fish, you say? Okay. It will be done. Perfect. I hope it turned out delicious. <gasps> wow. Oh no! The chef's sushi look more attractive. What? Bingo! I can't put this whore in front of my granddaughter, but I have an idea. Why not make cucumber sushi? It's both delicious and healthy. Oh really? And disgusting. Why is that? Cucumber is an ideal ingredient for sushi. You just need to put more rice into it. Pew! It doesn't look good. Wait a little, I'm not done. Ta-da! Look what a beauty. What is this? What? I've never seen cucumber and rice sushi. They don't even have fish. I'm not chasing it. But I will try sweet sushi okay. with pleasure. Hooray! Mmm! Delicious. But it's not satisfying at all. The last candidate is left. Wow. Here they are. Real sushi. Mmm. Mm, so good. Madame Chef, you have one. Thank you, but it was obvious. Oh, no! I hope each of you can make a waffle. I heard that you need to start with dough. I think I won't have any problems with it. Okay. We'll add some sugar. Yeah! Mix it up a little. Perfect. It's time to add flour. Wow. Oh, oh no. I think I got something in my nose. <laughs> Wow. Here's a waffle. It's okay. This flour is enough for me to make delicious waffle. No, no. You just need to stir everything well. Let's do it. Okay, so now my finished dough can be poured into a waffle iron. These will be the most delicious waffles in my sister's life. Mmm! The dough turned out very tasty. And most importantly, without eggshells. I hope it will make a decent waffle. Aww. Everyone added sugar, but I know that sugar is harmful. So I'll add a whole ripe eggplant instead. And I'll make dough out of it. Let's do it. It will be absolutely perfect. Perfect. And now, we'll add some eggs. And of course, some flour. Let's mix it up well. And add some greens for the taste. It even sounds disgusting. But this dough is much better than yours. Mm, what? And now, you can pour it into a waffle iron. Just like that. And let's time it so we don't burn it. Yeah, timing is pretty good. Oh, it seems the waffle is a little burnt. No, no. Oh, hot, hot! But that's okay. I will hide it's not very pleasant appearance with whipped cream, some berries, and chocolate syrup. Just like that. It's awesome! Mm -hmm. And I will traditionally pour maple syrup on my waffles. <laughs> A piece of butter will also not be extra. Oh, really? Oh, it's so yummy. <laughs> and I will decorate my already healthy waffles with healthy herbs. Hello! Let's try it! I'll start with this one. Oh, ew! Your waffle is kind of overcooked. I won't eat that. And this one? Ew! This waffle tastes like grass and eggplant. I hate it. Disgusting. And this one is pretty good. Oh, yes. That's just what I wanted. Grandma, you're winning this round. Hooray. 
Finally, I want to drink a cup of delicious coffee. Wow. It'll okay. be done. <laughs> Easy. I just came up with a brilliant idea. Hot coffee is boring. Today, cold coffee, which is frappuccino, is infection. You need to throw ice in a large jar. Whoa. Then you need to add delicious chocolate syrup there. And of course, we must not forget about the coffee itself. I have it from Starbucks, by the way. And a cocktail of Twix chocolates will definitely not be extra. I'll blend it up a little and use it instead of milk. And I think I'll make a more classic coffee. I know that my granddaughter loves it. <sighs> Ta da! And this is the end. You need to add whipped cream and some chocolate sweets. Let's go! Yeah! Oreo cookies. Mmm, mm, so yummy. And a candy bar. Of course, we must not forget about the straw. <sighs> oh well. It's my turn to make coffee. With the help of a scale, I will measure the right amount of grains. Perfect. Okay. Now, I will manually grind them to be the desired state. Look and learn! And only now, I will pour boiling water to the coffee. The coffee is actually made that way? Perfect. Now I will pour coffee into the cup. Mm, and I'll blend the milk on my own as well. Mm -hmm. You should also not forget about the appearance. Look what a beauty! Wow! <laughs> um, I'll start with the middle one. Grandma, I'll always recognize this coffee. And it's time to admit that I don't like it at all. Oh. <laughs> okay. The first mug looks more pleasant. Delicious, but a little bitter for me. No. The last candidate left to win. Mmm, that's really cool. Brother, you win this round. Yeah, finally. So, now there will be something interesting. I want a donut. Cook me donuts. <laughs> it's easy. Yes, yes, it'll be done. Good choice! Uh, have they already started cooking? Well, the dough is ready. Cutting out the donuts in a special shape. Three pieces will be just right. It's time to warm up the frying pan. The main thing is to set the correct temperature. We'll pour some more. Oh, come on! Uh, it looks simple. Oh. Tom, don't give your grandma a heart attack. <gasps> Calm down, everything is fine. Oops. Uh, what's next for us? Oil. Exactly. I think this much will be enough. Now we're waiting for you to heat up. What? Are you already frying? Okay, then I'll put it in two. One, two, three. A nightmare! The oil splashes and bites! Oh, man! Tom, why did you pour so much of it? Yeah, really? Awesome. Oh, I need to save my donuts! Oh, no. What a horror. It seems that something went wrong. My donuts are ruined! No! This is a failure! Oh, don't worry, oh, dear. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Whatever. My donuts are almost ready. I'll decorate them now. Let's cut it out here. Yeah. A human eats with his eyes. Therefore, appearance is the most important thing. Mm, everything should be perfect. Bellissimo! Oh, really? Yes, yes, pretty good. But my donuts will still be better without decorations. Awesome. Like that. Oh, what good fellows you are. And I, I came up with something. Some cheese. Like that. And super. We'll pour it into the shape of donuts. 
And now for decorations, I'll take my favorite Cheetos. A little hammer moment? Does he even know what the donut is? Perfect! I'll use it as sprinkles. Cool! Mm, let's see. Yeah, it should be perfect. Mm, great. But something is missing. Oh, Grandma! Can I take this from you? Well, take it. Thanks! The frying pan can't be thrown out, but the stove will come in handy. Next, I need foil. So, I'll wrap up my cheese donuts and send them straight to the stove. It looks like everything is ready. Mmm, perfect. I can serve it. Perfect. Oh, well, what do we have here? Whoa, how cool and so different! I'll start with these ones. They look so delicious. Wow! And there's also a filling inside! It's really good! So, what do we have here? Okay. Hmm, pretty cute. Let's try it. Is it just a no. donut? Hmm, not that good. And what is this? Okay, let's see. It's cheese donuts! It's just amazing! After all, I like sweets more. Chef, you have one! Yes, yes, I knew it. What? Well, the next slot is a sandwich. No problem. Oh no, you can't beat me. Okay. Oh well, I know that. But I'll make a sweet sandwich. <laughs> I'm going to need some Nutella. Okay. Next, I need… Some marshmallows. Come on! Let's decorate. Perfect. And of course, a chocolate bar. Oh, really? And also, we will add rainbow marmalades. Don't forget about the sauce yeah. and some more sweets. It'll be sweet and very yummy. And most importantly, pretty. Ready? Okay. Some sprinkles on top. And it's done! I've got it! Oh, come on! A nightmare. How much sugar? I'll make a very ordinary sandwich. Some ham, cheese. And all that remains is to fry it all. Awesome! Perfect. Okay. Turn it over now. And it's done. Gosh, no originality. So, let's fry the bread well. Perfecto! Lettuce leaves. Tomatoes. And now… Sandwich and without meat? What is it? My secret ingredients are snails. I'm like that. What a horror! We need to free these beauties from the shell. I'm going to feel bad now. Oh. I'll never understand these delights. Also, some shells. These muscles will perfectly suit my sandwich. What a mess. Oh, what a horror. It's called high cuisine. Something is missing. Right, door blue cheese. It goes well with seafood. Okay, that's it. This is the last drop. Granny! Oh, man! Well, that's it. I got it. Yeah! <laughs> what a nightmare. So, are you ready? Wow, cool sandwiches. I'll try this one. Ugh. What is this? Ew. What a mess. Oh no. This one looks more appetizing. Let's try it. So good! I love sweets! Cool. Very tasty! So, the last one. Mmm, it's so yummy! It's just perfect! Awesome. Granny, you have one! Perfect! Congratulations! Hooray! What? Well, what's next? Yeah. 
Now I want Caesar salad. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, finally. Um, what is this? Well, let's get started. Um, cutting tomatoes is harder than it seems. Oh, what is it? Uh, hold on, tomatoes. I'm gonna get ya. Hey, what are you doing? Be careful, young men. It's so easy. Look, one and two. That's it. One and two. Now it is perfect. Add some lettuce leaves. Of course, some chicken. And some more of it. Oh, perfect. Just incredible. Oh, these amateurs. I have an idea. A little fresh arugula. Okay. And a secret mixture. Put everything in a blender. And mix it well. Let's start. Perfect. Oh, stop showing off. You will need a small saucepan. We pour all the liquid right into it. What is she even doing? Come on. I have no idea. That's weird. Okay, never mind. A large yeah. siren and a straw. And some magic is going to happen. Cool. Baloney with the help of molecular cuisine. Okay. Let's add some lattice leaves. Come on! Some tomatoes. And of course, some chicken. Come on! These pieces are quite perfect. I've got it. And of course, some crackers. They're always perfect. And now we're gonna add some cheese. Done! Oh, I almost forgot. I need to grate some cheese. Like this. Hey, what's happening? Cutting vegetables is so much fun! Well, again, I can't do anything! I came up with something! I have a cool gum! I'll use it as lettuce leaves. Okay. It actually looks pretty nice. Decorate the dish with marmalade ice. Awesome. And marshmallows. And honestly, some marmalade worms would be great. Ha, <laughs> there's your salad. Ready. It's completely tasteless. Honey, we are ready. Let's see. I'll start with this. Um, what is it? Uh, oh, it's disgusting. Definitely not. What do we have here? Well… Yeah, a salad. Nothing unusual. And here is something interesting. Mm, but this is very good. Cool. This is definitely the winner. Hooray! Yeah, victory! Oh. I wonder why it weighs our participants at the first challenge. Wow, is that lemonade? Looks like grandma can't wait to start cooking. She starts cutting the lemon into neat slices like this. We put them in a large glass, a little sugar. Whoa, take it easy, grandma. What did these lemons do to you? Calm down, it's alright. Add carbonated water. Great, now we're on the way. Some ice and mint. Good job, grandma. Now it's the chef's turn. Now I'll show you how to make real lemonade. By the way, according to my signature recipe, to begin with, thinly slice the cucumber, twist the slices, and throw them into a glass with ice. <laughs> what a fragrance. We add green tea to the glass, my favorite kind. Now we cut lime. We need to slice and lemonade and one slice as decoration. Decorate with cucumber and… fresh mint. Oh. That's it. Perfect. Wow, how cool! Um, I got carried away with the soda. Wait a minute, and this is a good idea! Pour the soda into a glass. Oh yeah, berries are perfect! Add sugar, some sweetener. Now we're whipping it all up. Add the resulting mass to our soda. Mixing it up. Berry syrup. 
Even sweeter, even better! Let's decorate the lemonade. That's it! Good job, Jane! Just look at this lemonade. I think Mary will definitely like it. Or will she like her grandma's recipe more? Or maybe the chef's exquisite lemonade? I want to find out as soon as possible. Let's try, Mary! First, she tries the chef's lemonade. What? It looks like Mary didn't appreciate the taste of the lemonade at all! Oh… Unbelievable! Let's well, go. we're going further. Grandma's lemonade. Not bad. Woo. Only sister's lemonade remains. Okay. Would Mary really like it the most? <laughs> wow! We have a winner, yeah! And this is… Jane. Congratulations on a well-deserved victory! <laughs> what? Wow, how many products! And what are we going to cook? Let's Fish? Go. Wow! <laughs> now let's see who is the most skilled in cooking the dish! Let's see, it looks like grandma decided not to waste time in vain. She immediately takes a piece of fish and puts it in the pan. Okay, let's try to repeat after grandma. Oh, what a smell. Okay, it looks like it will do. You can play my favorite game now. So it's time to turn the fish over. A little salt. No pepper. Lovely. Just lovely. Hmm. What? Yeah, it seems no one here knows how to cook fish. Well, never mind. Now I'll show you everything. To begin with, we need a little orange, some spices, and a little oil. That's it. We roll the fish in our miracle breading what? and frying it. Oh, I almost forgot. We'll need all this. Yeah, perfect. We throw it all in the mixer. A little orange juice for the taste. Now it's time to whip our sauce. Believe me, you have hardly tasted something so delicious. Meanwhile, our fish has fried properly. We put it on a plate. Now my favorite is serving. This is how we serve fish in my restaurant. Lime and our signature sauce. That's it! Finally some greenery! Perfect! Oh, girl, did you decide to start a fire? Oh, you need to be more careful, Jane. Look what happened to your piece of fish. But there's no time left at all. We'll have to serve fish like this. It doesn't look very good. To put mildly, what can be said about grandma's fish? Perfect. And finally, the chef's dish. Yeah, such a serving would be appreciated in any restaurant. But Mary appreciated. We'll find out. It seems she immediately put a dislike to Jane's dish. Now grandma's dish. Very tasty. But wait. You haven't tasted the fish from the chef yet. Oh, it seems the restaurant food is not to Mary's taste at all. Sorry, chef, but this time Mary's heart was conquered by her grandmother. How sweet. <laughs> it's time for the third round. Let's see. A cupcake? Mm, which of our participants is the most experienced baker? Grandma, of course, knows a lot about baking. She immediately starts cooking the dough. Look at this speed. Wow. Great. Grandma added all the necessary ingredients. It's time to whisk. Beat the dough properly. And of course, we're without cupcake molds. How beautiful they are. Carefully pour the dough into the molds. Like this. It remains only to put the cupcakes in the oven. Great. Great job, Grandma. Now we just have to wait. <laughs> and how's the chefs doing? It seems her dough is almost ready. Now she puts in the berries. Wow! Mix the berries together with the dough. How beautiful! What's next, chef? It's time to get the molds. We pour a beautiful red mass into a large cupcake mold. And sending it to the oven. Perfect! Wow, how cool! What do I have here? <laughs> uh, how boring it is to knead the dough! An idea! I recently saw a life hack. Here it is. That's just brilliant! Can I make a cupcake that easy? Wow! And it will turn out so cool! Yeah! Well, that's Woo! settled. Let's go! <laughs> now let's see how this life hack will work. Add cacao powder and a little chocolate syrup to the milk. Great, now we're whipping. The resulting mass is poured into a glass. The oven won't work for this recipe. We need to find something else. A microwave! Well, we put the glass in the microwave. Now we just have to wait. Oh, and grandma's cupcakes seem to be ready. What an appetizing crust. And the smell. Put the cupcakes on a plate. A little powdered sugar on top. And I think the chef's cupcake is ready too. We get this treat out of the oven. 
and of course, where without branded serving from the chef? Oh, so much whipped cream! What could be better than a combination of berries and whipped cream? Now, it's time for Jane's cupcakes. I hope they're so delicious! And what a smell! She should definitely appreciate it! I'm sure my granddaughter will make the right choice. My cupcakes are the best. <gasps> Where should I start? Okay. A cupcake and a mug? Weird, but let's try. Mmm, so-so. No. Okay, what else is there? Let's try these. Hmm, not bad. But I'm not thrilled. Wow! Wow, what a huge cupcake! <gasps> Can't wait to try it. How delicious! Yes, this is the winner! Oh. The chef's cupcake turned out to be the best. No critic can resist it. <gasps> There's so many products here. What are we cooking this time? Soup? Wow! And what is your favorite soup? Write in the comments and maybe in the next videos, our heroes will cook exactly your favorite dish. It looks like the chef has seriously taken up cooking soup. Look at how many different ingredients she has. Well, no soup can be made without water, right? Now a little cream and butter. That's it. Add some spices. <laughs> Whoa, take it easy, chef. It looks like the ingredients for the soup will never run out. Now there are also shrimps. Looks like Jane is having too much fun. Let's look at her. Hey, it's time for you to get serious about cooking. Grandma has already cut all the necessary vegetables. It looks like mushroom soup is waiting for us. Surely grandma collected these mushrooms herself. How cool. Add cream and stir. Super. What a great soup grandma has. Mm, however, I didn't remember anything. Okay. And then they sort of put no. this. No, um, maybe this? Not that, but not that. Oh, is this what you need? Cheese. We throw it there. Yeah, now we're on the way. Perfect, let's mix it. It's not that hard to cook soup. Now let's throw some carrots. Great. Wow, what a cool thing! Let's go! Let's stir it. I think it's fine. The soup is just perfect. By the way, my exclusive recipe. What do you think, Grandma? What kind of amateurs? The last touch remains. Bola! Whose soup will win Mary's heart? Jane's turned out very well. And grandma's mushroom soup looks just wonderful, but the chef's exquisite soup looks no worse. Hmm. It's up to you, Mary. Okay. Well, let's start with this one. It smells strange. <laughs> Ugh, are these mushrooms? I hate mushrooms. Next one. Hmm, something interesting. No. No, that's not it. Now the third oh. soup. That looks a complete mess. Let's try it. Whoa! This is the best soup I've ever had! Yes, it's the winner! Wow! Jane, congratulations! <laughs> Looks like grandma and sister are having a great time. Well, enough distractions. It's time to find out what we'll cook. A burger? Wow! Well, are you all ready for a new challenge? Let's go! So, grandma starts with burger buns. Yes, toasted buns are much better. Now we need minced meat. Grandma takes minced meatballs. Puts them in a frying pan. Presses down with a spatula like this. The patty is ready. Now a slice of delicious cheese and of course, what kind of burger without tomato? There's an onion and a bun on top. Wow, grandma coped with the task so quickly. Great job, grandma. Now it's sister's turn. It looks like the ordinary bones won't do. What, a donut? How delicious! The sister cuts the donut into two halves. Now the chocolates. How sweet it is! But sister has something else. It's sour gel! It's so delicious, but so sour! Now let's add marshmallows. A little marmalade. And berry syrup. Why not? Now we cover our miracle burger. What a beauty! It looks like grandma appreciated her granddaughter's work, but one's day is not so easy to surprise. So we start, as usual, with buns. Of course, the black ones. Frying a patty like this. What is one's day doing with a piece of cheese? 
Wow, how cool this cheese looks now! A piece of cucumber? Okay. Wow, this burger seems to have a mouth with a tongue. But something is missing. It's good that next to Wednesday, there's always a hand that will help with any problem. Marmalade eyes! Wow. Hello! <laughs> Looks like that what Wednesday needs. Hey! Hey, careful, Grandma! The hand is completely harmless. Now let's add ice to the burger. Okay. Wow, just look at this monster! He's so scary but still so appetizing. But which burger will be the most delicious? Now we'll find out. Margot, your turn. Oh, how hungry I am! This burger looks unusual. Let's try it! Delicious! I like it! So, what's next for us? Let's take the first bite. Ew! Is that onion? What a mess! The burger is not what you need. So, what do we have here? These are my favorite sweets! Snack on marmalade with a donut? It's to my taste. Well, it's time to choose the winner. And that is… This burger. Yes, this is our winner. Wow, congratulations to Wednesday. Um, is it just me or is she smiling? Wednesday smiling? Wow. Oops, that looks like someone was shy. It seems the sister and the hand have found a common language. Oh, it's time for the hand to go home. And it's time for our heroes to cook a new dish. Hot chocolate! Who doesn't love this delicious drink? I hope everyone is ready. Let's go. Grandma takes up cooking again. She pours milk into a saucepan. Now cacao powder. Do not forget to stir. Oh yes, a bar of chocolate will make the taste even more intense. Mm, how sweet it is! Grandma pours hot chocolate into her signature mug. Great job, Grandma. Now it's sister's turn. Hey, careful! They can eat all the chocolate like that. Yeah, Grandma is right. Sugar needs to be added quite a bit. Like that. Oh, what is she up to? Yeah, just look at this sweet tooth. Grandma does not approve of this amount of sugar. Okay, it's time to add milk. Be careful! Oops. Yeah, the sister clearly needs to be more attentive. So, you can add all the ingredients. Now a little dye. Wow, look at this beauty! This cream is so bright. Now a little sprinkles. That's the serving. Sister did her best. But that's not all. The final touch is whipped cream and… Some marshmallows. Look at the sweetness. Yeah, sister did her best. Perfect. Well, it's your turn, Wednesday. A suitable mug is neat here. The hand, we can't do without your help here. What a horror! Grandma, you better take care of your nerves. Wednesday pours chocolate and some whipped cream. Berry syrup? Uh, great. And some Haribo marmalades. Oh yeah, look at this unique serving. Hot chocolate is ready. Hmm, why? Oh, it's crazy! This is delicious! I like it! <gasps> oh, and moving on, this is hot chocolate from grandma. Great. Um, what is this? It looks strange, but let's try. Hmm, not bad. And the winner is… Yes! Sister, this round is for you! Well, it looks like our heroes are ready for a new challenge. What a waste them this time. Whoa, it's french fries! There are many ways to cook and serve this dish. Now we'll find out which way our heroes will choose. Of course, the potatoes need to be peeled first. What's going on? Wow, sister has chosen a very unusual way of peeling potatoes. Grandma isn't happy, but 
How can she be angry at her beloved granddaughter? Now you need to get the potatoes. That's it. The sister cuts potatoes with a special knife. Look at this beauty! It's time to add some color. Wow, that is so bright! Add oil. And we can set our bright potatoes to the frying pan. Great! With hot oil, you should always be extremely careful. Hey! Be careful! We beautifully spread our colored potatoes on a plate. Sister got such bright french fries. Grandma prefers a more classic version of the dish. And sometimes the classic version is the best, isn't it? Oh yeah, french fries and ketchup. This taste is familiar to everyone since childhood. What could be better? Oops. Great job, Grandma. Okay. Well, what will surprise us this time with Wednesday? The Wednesday potatoes are already cooked. It looks like an usual serving. But wait. What is this? No. Oh no. Looks like Wednesday got the sides mixed up. Grandma, you better cover your eyes. This is not a sight for the faint-hearted. So, where were we? Oh yeah, french fries. Wednesday paints potatoes black. Wow, how beautiful it is. It looks like sister appreciated Wednesday dish too. Look at her reaction. Well, let's see what Margot thinks. Well, what do we have here? Whoa, is this potato a little burnt? No, okay. doesn't taste bad. And with ketchup? Just super. Oh, I guess I won't hold back and eat everything to the last piece. Yummy. To the next one. Well, got hmm, not bad. Let's see. But it'll taste even better this way. Well, goodbye, potatoes. I'm gonna eat you. Mm, I think I've had a little too much, but there's still a third course. What a beautiful dish! Yeah, it's all very right, tasty. All right, all right. I can already feel it. Awesome. So good. To the last piece. Mm. Wow! Oops. Oh. <gasps> Don't worry, I'm fine. Well, guys, are you all ready for the next challenge? So let's see. Pancakes! Oh, how delicious it is! I hope our heroes know how to cook this wonderful dish. There are so many ways. Well, let's go. Grandma as always takes the cooking bit first. Carefully pour the pancake batter into the pan. Great. See the crust? You can turn it over. And this pancake is just perfect. That's what many years of experience mean. <laughs> Wednesday, what's the matter with you? Oh, it looks like you can't do without the help of a hand. Black dye? Of course. Who doubted? It? It's Wednesday. Look at this color. Hey, it looks like she got a little carried away. Um, okay. Let's get back to our pancakes. Wow, that's actually beautiful. Yeah, black food always looks so stylish. And what is your favorite color? Leave your options in the comments and maybe in the next video we'll do that. Meanwhile, the sister seems to have something interesting in mind. Wow, this is not a pancake anymore, but a whole piece of art. Yeah! Oh, um, somehow this color does not want to squeeze out in any way. What's the matter with you? Ouch! It was a short ride in the eye. Hope everything is all right with our sister. Yeah, everything is fine. In this case, the most important thing is not to give up despite all the difficulties, right? We're getting it. Wow, it's a unicorn! Just look at this beauty! Yeah, such moments grandma is so proud of her granddaughter. Hmm, and what about grandma? It looks like a good old recipe is waiting for us. Pancakes with butter and maple syrup. From this, salivation immediately begins to flow. I think Wednesday's pancakes are baked too. Yeah, they look unusual. 
Wednesday as her favorite berry syrup. And… Whoa. Are those spiders? Calm down, grandma. These spiders are made out of chocolate. Well, Margo, it's time to taste the dishes of our participants. Uh, oh, what is this? Looks terrifying. Hmm, let's try the pancake. Hmm, not bad. What's next for us? Wow, how delicious! And the teas are just super. What kind of beauty is this? A unicorn! How sweet it is! And how delicious! Okay, I think I've decided on the winner. Awesome. Here it is! Congratulations, sister! You deserve the victory! <laughs> so many products! And that's great! I'm sure you'll be able to cook me something with it. And more importantly, a pasta. <laughs> well, it's worth a try. I wonder where to start. I'll probably take spaghetti. I think they need to be shoved in the water. That's it. But why don't they fit? I'll try to do it with a spoon. <gasps> I came up with something. I need a different approach. I'll just break the spaghetti in half. Poor chain. How incompetent you are. I should have paid more attention to you. You need to take spaghetti, gently put it in hot water, and wait a little until they soften and completely immerse them into the pan. Grandma, you shouldn't teach a girl. She needs to take an example from professionals. I will cook homemade noodles. They're much better than store-bought ones. To do this, I will need premium flour, an egg, and a little salt. I'll knead it properly. And the dough is ready. I want to paint it black, and for this, I'll use cold fish ink. It's completely safe. It only takes a few drops. And now, we'll mix the dough and give the dough a little rest under the foil. I'm not sure you have enough time to cook this dish. I have everything under control. It's time to roll out the dough. It's the hardest job, but I can do it. And now, I'll take a special knife and cut the dough into strips. Look how soft it is! I'm sure my dish will turn out very tasty. I sprinkle the dough with flour. Well, that's all. You can boil it. I'll throw it into boiling water, stir it, and wait. The main thing is not to let pasta stick together. Now you can put it on a plate. And now I'll prepare the dressing. In my opinion, seafood goes completely great together with pasta. I'll just fry some small octopuses. Huh? It looks a little strange. You don't understand it. It's high cuisine. I'll add the sauce and that's it. Bobby will definitely appreciate it. I think my boy likes ketchup better. Jane, what are you doing? I'm trying to get spaghetti out of the pen. Doesn't look like pasta at all. Whether I got a pasta casserole. I think it's better to throw it away. <gasps> I came up with an idea! I'll take some Chinese noodles. Bobby always loves them. I'll open it as spices and pour boiling water. That's how I like it to cook. It looks pathetic. And in my opinion, pretty good. Wow, so many dishes. My eyes are running wild. Don't even know where to start. Mm, I hate octopuses. They're scary. But I like pasta with ketchup. I love the sauce. Mm, I think granny did it. Chinese noodles are a pleasant surprise. I've always liked it. Oh no! They're so spicy! Oh, actually, it's pretty good. I think they're gonna win. Thank you! What does my boy want now? There, cook me some chips. <laughs> Whatever you say, kid. I have no idea what to do. Don't worry, Jane. First, you need to peel the potatoes. And now we cut them as thin as possible. Pour some oil. And it'll create a delicious crispy crust. Turn on the stove at full power and send the potatoes to the frying pan. Seems like nothing complicated. Thanks, Grandma! I'll try it. I'll take the potatoes and peel them. Seems I'm doing something wrong. 
Why do I have such a small piece left? Although, I think it won't affect the taste. So, now we can pour the oil. I turn on the tile and lay out the potatoes. No, Jane! Don't do this! Oh, How hot! I was doing with oil! It was necessary to lay out carefully. Quick cover yourself. Cooking is clearly not your thing. Come on, you'll see it will turn out well. Jane, because of you, I got distracted and almost forgot about my dish. Mm, my dish are gonna be special again. We're gonna make them out of tortillas. Thanks to this, they'll be even more crispy and delicious. I send the sliced tortillas to the hot oil. Look how it sizzles. What you need. That's all. You can get it. Just like real nachos. Only spices are missing, but I'll fix that. First, you need to serve the dish. I put the toasted pieces on a black plate. Instead of spices, I'm gonna take some cheese. How delicious it flows. It is very difficult to resist and not try. I'll add some vegetables for decorations, and that's all. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. I also need lime juice. It'll set off the taste. Look at how perfect it is. I'll put them on a plate. Wow, wow. I won't refuse such a dish either. But my potatoes don't look good. Do I really have to throw everything away again? Wait, I've come up with something. You need to add spices. They will hide all the flaws. I'll put the potatoes in a bowl and spring generously on top. Looks a little better already. I'll mix it up and… That was fun. Let's put it on a plate. I see you're all doing your best. Ooh. Bon appetit, Bobby. Try it. Well, I'll start with this. Ugh, how many spices? I don't like it. This dish looks prettier. Okay. Whoa, what do I see? Nachos? Well, I definitely didn't expect this. Oh, it's no. cheese sauce. I hate it. So the middle one wins. Oh, thank you, my boy. These are real cakes! That's right, Jane. Use them to make me a cake. Wow, I want to get down in business right away. Okay. I have no doubt because you're still my sweet tooth. That's why grandma is great at making any dessert. White sponge cake is best combined with buttercream. As you can see, my dish already looks delicious. The main part of the work is done. You need to properly smooth out the cream. And now I'm going to decorate my cake with chocolate bars. Bobby loves them. What else would I add? Mm, came up with something. These airy candies. It looks perfect. You can't think of anything better. I will make bright accents in the form of Skittles. That's it. The last candy. Isn't that a miracle? It's not bad for homemade baking, but it doesn't compare to my dessert. It deserves the best pastry shops and friends. Have you noticed how confident my movements are? All these years of work in the kitchen. Now we need to cut the cake exactly in half. I'll add some cream on top. And it looks simple so far, but it's not over yet. Believe me, I'll bring it to mind. I put the other half of the cake on top, like this, and cut out the middle. And now I'll put this on its side. Does it remind you of anything? Soon I'll add color, and you'll understand everything. Purple, blue, yes. It's a real rainbow! As you can see, I did all the work for a reason. Give me a little more time and you will be amazed. Emma, you've come up with some nonsense as usual. Admit it, you're just jealous of me. Look how smooth the cream is. It's a real sight. Um, I was staring and completely forgot about my cake. I need to finish it urgently. Looks like kind of strange. How can I fix it? An idea. Okay. It's worth a try because it won't get any worse anyway. Don't understand. Why do you need this thing on top? It's a secret. You'll see everything. Hmm? How do you like it? Wow. Very unexpected. I hope Bobby likes it. My boy, we have everything ready. <laughs> yeah, it's time to treat yourself to dessert. With pleasure. 
How many sweet things! Wow, a real rainbow! It tastes just divine! Great, Emma! Good job! And there's a lot of chocolate in this cake! Also delicious! Grandma, it's super! The last cake is left! It looks like a huge iceberg of ice! So much cream! But still the victory goes to Emma! There it is! It's time for the last round! I want cacao with marshmallows! I think it's easy to make a drink! This is my finest hour! Don't jump to conclusions, Jane! Nobody does it better than granny! I'll need selected milk and saturated cacao powder! I'll put more so that the taste is as chocolatey as possible! And now I'll mix it properly with a whisk! This will get rid of lumps! And um, there's still not enough chocolate! Let's add a whole bar! I'll break it into pieces! Grandma, it looks great! <laughs> I told you, I have no equal in cacao! I'll pour it into my favorite mug! And that's done! Okay. You're happy early, Grandma! You've never tasted my cacao! Just look at this texture! Mm, perfect! And no milk! Just cream! I need to blend it properly with a mixer to get a gentle foam! And now, I'll put it on top. I almost forgot about marshmallows. And a little chocolate sauce on top. Wow, I admit it, it's impressive. Believe me, even I can cook it. It seems that something is missing. That's right, whipped cream. We need to add more. Bobby will definitely like it. What if we also take some Oreos? I think it'll be very nice to crunch in your mouth. A little candy won't hurt either! Waffle tubes, chocolate syrup, and sprinkles for beauty! Perfect! It's definitely done! Help yourself, Bobby! Wow. Not bad, not bad! Awesome. You continue to please me! Whoa, there's so many sweets on top! You can drink and have a snack at the same time! Perfect balance! But I won't stop! Oh, Grandma, it's your mug! Mm, the drink is so-so! I want to wash it down with something. I think this will do. Oh, it's quite rich. But still, I like the first drink more. I'm the best! I suggest starting with a simple one. Prepare delicious pasta for me. Easy. It'll be done. I can cook pasta. But I can't. But never mind, I'll think of something. It seems to be done quite simply. All you need to do is pull the spaghetti in boiling water. Only they're too long for this pot! We need to shove them deeper! The easiest way to do this, of course, is with your hands! Ah! How hot! My poor hands! Who does that? You just need to spread the spaghetti around the perimeter of the pen. They will cook and gradually fall into the water themselves. It's very simple. Spaghetti! Oh, what kind on. of store-bought stuff is this anyway? Oh no! The best spaghetti what? is spaghetti made with your own hands. In my restaurant, I serve only such pasta. Yeah! In fact, there is nothing complicated about it. The main thing is to love your job. Treat cooking spaghetti with a soul. So I'm going to do everything from the beginning to the end on my own. Let's make some dough. And then cook some spaghetti from it. Okay. And to make it an unusual black color, I'll add a little food coloring. The dough is ready. Now we need to be properly made. Like that. Let's time it. Oh, it's too okay. long. In fact, everything can be done much easier. What? Is that all? See? It's not long at all. But from such a deal, we'll have unrealistically delicious spaghetti. So, you need to roll out the dough thoroughly. Let's do it. And then, cut it into thin strips with a special knife. See? Now you can throw it in a saucepan. Ta-da! Okay. A couple of minutes, and the best spaghetti in your life is ready. It's time to fry the octopuses. They will add sophistication to the pasta. It looks very expensive. 
Granny, what are you doing? Ketchup is disgusting. I like it. Oh no! What's going on here? Tom, what are you doing? I'm trying to get the noodles out of the pot. And it doesn't want to fall into the plate in any way. Don't worry, you just overdid the spaghetti a little. Okay. And what do I do now? Right! I'm done with spaghetti. There's a way to make pasta much faster and tastier. To do this, you need a box of Korean Pororo noodles. It's not just delicious, but also so bright. Oh, what a mess. You're just jealous of me. But Kay will definitely choose my pasta. Come on! Well, well, I think I'll start with these black spaghetti. I've never seen anything like this before. Let's see. Uh, how disgusting! Who eats this at all? The portion from the center looks much more ordinary. Spaghetti with ketchup, of course, I love, but. Um, it's too easy. Although it's pretty delicious. Okay. And now it's time for Pororo noodles. Let's see what it tastes like. The main thing is so bright. Wait, why is it so spicy? What a horror! But it was so cool. I love spicy. So Tom, congratulations on your victory. This time, make me delicious cacao. What? what are you waiting for? Hey. It's time to start! It will be done. Good. I think I can handle it. Everything will be okay. perfect. Of course, you need to start with milk. It needs to be poured into a saucepan so that it gradually warms up. You need to pour cacao into it next and stir it all slowly. I'll resort to the secret ingredient and add some chocolate to the cacao. Then it will become much more delicious. That is my secret. Well, is it time to pour a drink into a mug? It is best to do this with a ladle. That way you definitely won't spill anything past the mug. Mm, how lovely. Also, it smells incredibly delicious. Yeah, it stinks all over the room. Grandma, your recipe is certainly not the worst, but why did you stop so early? What about the cream? Cream, by the way, will be much tastier if you whip it yourself. Let's do it. So, I pour it into a bowl. And I'm gonna mix it. Perfect. Let's move on. Come on! I'll decorate your cow with the resultant cream. But that's not all. Good. It will look even more appetizing okay. if I put some marshmallows on top of the cream. Let's do it. Well, it's perfect now. Oh. Why suffer so much? You can just use whipped cream. But I also like the idea of marshmallows. So I'll decorate cacao with marshmallows. But this is not the end. Why not add Oreo cookies? They're so nice. Okay. And they look perfect there. Or, for example, M&M candies. Or even better, add everything. And of course, do not forget about the chocolate syrup. That's what I like. Kay will definitely be thrilled. Let's see. Tom, your cacao looks really cool. I think I'll start with it. It's just unrealistically delicious. I hope the next candidates will be not worse. Next, I'll try cacao for my beloved grandmother. Grandma, I'm sorry, but Tom turned out better. The last candidate left. Mm, I really like this cacao too, but which one should I choose? I think I like Tom's version a lot. Now, I want you to make me chips. I hope you can do it. Chips? It'll be done. 
We'll see who is the winner. How are chips made in general? I'm just used to eating them, not cooking them. Tom, you need to peel the potatoes first. This is done very simply with the help of a special device. Now, each potato needs to be cut into thin slices so that it looks like real chips. Look how perfect they are. I'll do the rest of the potatoes now. And now you can fry them. The main okay. thing is not to spare the oil. Then the chips will turn out more crispy. I got everything! Now I'll make my better chips! She has never tried anything like this before! It turns out that potatoes can be peeled with an ordinary knife! How oh, cool! Tom, what are you doing? Stop littering! Uh, I think I went a little overboard. But I cleaned out everything! Well, now my favorite part! Potatoes need to be cut into thin slices! I also remember it's important not to spare the oil. In my opinion, there's quite a lot of it in my frying pan. It's time to dump the potatoes there. Tom, there's even too much oil. Therefore, it splashes in different directions. Yeah, you don't know how to cook chips. But I'll make real nachos for Kate. To do this, take a corn tortilla and cut it into identical triangles. <laughs> then you need to pour a little oil into a frying pan and spread these triangles on it. They will fry and turn into real nachos. Perfect. You can pull them out. They turn out just yeah. amazing. Now the nachos need to be spread out beautifully on a plate. As a sauce, we can use some cheese. So nachos will be even better. And it'll also be cool to add a little lime. Let's cut it. I've got it! How nice and beautiful it turned out! Perfect. I hope Kate likes it. Wait, where did the smell of burn coming from? Tom, what have you done? Oh, I just took my mind off chips for a second! Oh, now I have to give Kate this overcooked ambers! Oh, don't be upset. Maybe okay. she'll like it. I know what can help me! If you sprinkle some cheese seasoning on the chips, Kate won't even know that I overcooked them a little. Perfect! Hmm, I did it. I don't know about that. Come on! Well, well. Everything looks very cool. Tom, according to tradition, I'll start with your dish. Ugh, disgusting! It's like I'm eating charcoal with cheese powder! Horrible! I wonder what the chef has prepared? To be honest, I've never tried real nachos before. Um, apparently I'm not a fan. I don't really like them. Grandma, there's only one version left to try. Mmm, how delicious! Grandma, I'm loving it! You win this round! Perfect! So the heroes have a responsible task to feed the baby. And what does she want? The baby wants french fries. Mm -hmm. Nothing complicated. We'll do everything. I know the recipe. It seems that you need to pour oil. I'll pour more. It'll be fatter and tastier. So for sure, everything will fry well. I'll fill up the whole pan with some oil. Let's turn it on and let's start. I'll use the whole pack because there are never too many of the french fries. Hey. Granddaughter! What are you doing? Oh! It's burning! We need to put out the fire quickly! Oh no 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 no! It's not like the recipe on YouTube! Oh. Almost burned down the kitchen and all of us! Oh. Better learn from grandma. Now grandma will show you how to do it. We'll take quite a bit of oil. Turn down the heat a little and put the potatoes in. So it'll be perfect. I'll toss it around and put it on a plate. What? Oh, how well it turned out. It's all for my granddaughter. It remains to add the most delicious ketchup. French fries and ketchup are the perfect combination. My granddaughter will definitely like it. 
And how many calories are in this dish? I'll show you how it should be. We get rid of excess oil. Then we wrap the potatoes in a piece of fragrant bacon and twist the roll. Just like that. Add a drop of cranberry gluten-free jam from Duro's on top. Just like that. And add some rosemary on top. The masterpiece is ready. Bingo! I've come up with something better. Banana marshmallow trolley is so similar to potatoes. And if you add Hershey's strawberry mm -hmm. syrup, it'll be just like potatoes with ketchup. But it tastes so sweet. That's what my little sister will really like. <laughs> Finally, everything is ready. And the baby has already been waiting for her food. The dish from my grandmother was the first to attract attention. Classic french fries and ketchup. It looks really delicious. The baby obviously liked it. I wonder how she would like a dish for real gourmets. The chef took an unusual recipe, but it was not appreciated. And there was a gift from my sister. It looks like potatoes and ketchup, but this… Yes! It's a sweet marshmallow with strawberry sauce. Deep and eat. Hmm. It remains to choose the winner. A dish from grandma. Yes, I won! Oh, it hurts. What will the baby want to eat now? Oh, she wants to eat sushi! What is this? I don't know how to cook it. Show grandma what to do. First, you need to boil the rice in a special way. I'll do it. Grandma knows how to cook rice. Ah, <laughs> uh, sushi with nasty seaweed. I'd rather do something sweet again. Or sweet and sour. Let's take the sweet and sour tongues. Add whipped cream instead of sauce. Rub a marmalade eye and a few marmalades from Haribo. How big and colorful they turn out. Have you ever seen sushi like that? This is just absolutely perfect. Now you need to take a sheet of nori and cut it in half. It's all dry, it's breaking. How did you do that? Because I'm unprofessional, Grandma. I'm gonna cut some fish. Perfect slices. Put some rice on the mat. And some nori. I twist it with the mat. Put some fish on top. Cut it. And that's it. Classic Philadelphia roll with ginger and wasabi is ready. <laughs> Granny can't make these rolls of yours. They don't keep their shape. Bingo! I have an idea. I'm just gonna cut some cucumbers. Get rid of the center and put rice in it. Perfect. <laughs> now it's time for the baby to try it. Let's start with these. Sushi from the chef look perfect. And it tastes incredible. What a big and bright roll. And very, very tasty. So delicious that she immediately chose them as the winner. This time, a sweet gift from my sister overcame everyone. Oh, you haven't tried mine. Hey, grandma, wake up. The granddaughter wants something delicious again. She wants to drink a chocolate cocktail for dessert. This is my favorite recipe. We'll need some ice cubes. I'll pour more chocolate sauce into the jar. Starbucks milk chocolate to the brim. And I'll create some milk foam with a hand mixer. Oh, um, sorry, Grandma. You got too close. What is this bag in Grandma's hands? Instant coffee three in one? Is she really going to give this to her granddaughter? Yeah, but it seems that grandma herself likes it. Now add the whipped cream. I often cook myself such a recipe. By the way, don't forget about yourself. Sprinkle the Oreo cookie crumbs on top. Put the cookie on. Such a cocktail should be drunk through a straw. That's it! The perfect chocolate milkshake. Who cooks it like that? That's a horror! I have made coffee sweet drinks more than once. We need fresh coffee beans. I measure everything to the gram. I grain the grains into fine crumbs. Then I brew it in French press. 
The coffee will be perfect. Pour it into the cup. And adding some milk. I'm gonna create some foam out of it. I certainly won't spray anyone because I'm unprofessional. And the snowflake decoration. Perfect. Oh my! It's time to try the drinks. The hand itself reaches for a beautiful glass. It's a wonderful cocktail. Also delicious cookies on top. Awesome. It's perfect! Hmm. What cannot be said about the instant coffee? Grandma wanted to poison her granddaughter. It's impossible to drink. Oh. Coffee foam from the chef with a pleasant aroma. But the hmm. taste is nothing unusual. The baby chooses the beautiful cocktail. Yes, keep it up, sis. You've won again. The next task is for you to drum roll, make some waffles. Okay. What? What is it? And I know the recipe. Break the eggs. Add sugar. You can have more so the waffles will taste even better. And get in the way, get in the way, get in the way. Oh, I'm tired of doing that. Perhaps that's enough. And now we can add some flour. How much is needed? Oh, uh, grandma, I'm sorry, I got you dirty again. More flour, more waffles. Uh, maybe you don't need so much flour. I'll put the excess back. It won't work out that way. But she will definitely like my old grandmother's proven recipe. The dough came out perfect. <laughs> Here! Now you can pour the dough into the waffle iron. And I'm almost done too. Perfect rosy waffles will come soon. <laughs> What are you feeding the baby? No. It is necessary to eat healthy food. We won't need sugar. We better take zucchini. Perfect. Now we're gonna add some eggs. Put flour. And we're gonna create some dough. I'll do it quickly with a mixer. How ugly it looks! And let's try our super healthy waffles. They're almost done. Yummy! Perfect! I'll put it on a plate. Add some strawberry whipped cream and berries. I love how it turned out. And I'm gonna put some traditional maple syrup. Pour it all over. Oh my God. And a piece of butter. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my! Oh, the waffles are done. Green is the color of health. There's not enough beauty in this presentation. I'll make the count's runes and more greenery on top. Bellissimo. <laughs> oh, she's back with her proper nutrition. Here, granddaughter. These waffles look exactly like she wanted them to. But was it this unusual feeling? <gasps> An eggshell! You have to be careful when you cook. And what is this green color? Grass on top again? Still a piece is worth a try. A very small one. It smells good. But that still tastes disgusting. What to expect from these waffles? Wow, it seems that the baby really liked them. Here's the winner. Hooray, they're mine! I did it! <laughs>